What's up, everybody? This is a short dating story from hell. Okay, th this was a big fucking time waster for me, bro. This story comes out of Chicago, Illinois. Check this bullshit out. Back then, I used to get in the Yahoo chat rooms when Yahoo was still pretty popular with the Yahoo Messenger and shit like this. Um, I remember I used to go into the Yahoo Latino chat rooms. You know, I was looking for Spanish girls to talk to, talk to excuse me, Mexican, a Puerto Rican, a Dominican, whatever, right? As long as she was pretty hot. So I got in contact with this chick. She was Mexican, I remember, from Chicago. She was about she was about 19, right? Check this shit, check this shit out. Um we started talking. We talked for about a good two months, right? Um your basics, hey, how you doing? What's your name? Blah blah blah. You have a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the fuck. You know, we had some pretty decent phone conversations that lasted for like half hour to an hour. Alright, so for two months, we would talk to each other on Messenger, on the phone, you know, every time one of us would log on, we would be talking to each other, right? And, uh, I, I was not working for the airline at the time, by the way. But I, I think I was connect, collecting unemployment from a previous job. You know, so I was being lazy for six months and just enjoying my money coming in, right? And I told this chick, hey, her name was Baby Fat Six. I just remember her screen name being Baby Fat Six. P-H-A-T, like the clothing brand, which was run by that fucking bitch that uh, I think took half of Russell S Simmons' uh, wealth. The f fucking Kim, right? Was that that bitch's name? Kim? I forgot. Kim, Kim Simmons, right? Anyways, yeah, we plan to meet up. I'm the one that brought it up like, hey, you know, if I go to Chicago, you ever down to chill? I'll get a hotel and we can drink and, you know, we can chill. And she was like, oh, yeah, sure. You know, I could show you around Chicago. We can hang out, have lunch, dinner. But it has to be on the weekend only, tee -hee. So, yeah, we set the date. It was for a weekend, right? I paid like, at that time it was pretty cheap, it, uh, a round trip ticket from New Jersey, from Newark Airport to Chicago. It was to Midway Airport, because she told me flying to Midway because she lives closer to Midway than O'Hare. Yeah, the plan was for me to come in Friday and to chill with her up until Sunday, you know? So that's what I did. I booked a flight for me to get there Friday morning and leave Sunday early, late afternoon, right? So yeah, bing, 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 booked my flight, got the duffel bag ready, a small little bag with enough clothes for two days, a little bit of money in my pocket to take over there, you know? I landed in Midway Airport. Um, and by the way, this bitch on her profile, you know, she did show me plenty of pictures of herself and... One of the pictures that caught my attention with her, that caught my attention about her, excuse me, was she looked pretty sexy in this nice glamour shot picture. You know, spread out and shit, looking pretty sexy and clean. I would say she was like a good 8, 8.5. Not a 10, but hey, 8, 8.5 is pretty good, right? So I land in Midway on a Friday, a Friday morning. I get the first flight out of Jersey Friday morning. Lander in Midway in the morning. Did my research. I know I caught the orange line. Uh, it, the subway, I think. The little train they have over there. I caught the fucking orange line. I believe that's what it was. I caught it uh, out the airport. And uh, what else did I do? I think I caught a bus after that. And it took me to the sleep in. You guys know the sleep in? It's near Midway. There's a couple of hotels around there. You got the sleep in and I think the, the Marriott or some shit. And across the street at the time, there was a, a small Dunkin' Donuts and a little Mexican taqueria place. And at the corner, there was a liquor store. So that worked out great for me. I got to, I, I got to my fucking uh, 
sleep in a fucking hotel, unpacked, went across the street to get some breakfast, all right? Dunkin' fucking donuts, went back to the fucking room, killed some time. I didn't call the chick and tell her I got in yet, you know? I waited for the liquor store to open up like around, I think, 11 or 12 noonish. Walked my ass over there to the liquor store, bought me a nice bottle of liquor and a nice six-pack of beers, you know, and some rubbers. You know, because I'm thinking to myself, okay, you know, she says she wanted liquor. I'm going to get her a bottle. I think she wanted a bottle of Henny or some shit. A bottle of Hennessy. Six-pack of beers for myself, whatever. And I think I bought a couple Smirnoffs, too, for her. So, yeah, here I am. Doo -doo -doo. Happy. Walking to the fucking, uh, walking back to the hotel. I called her up like, hey, yo, yo, what's up, baby fat bitch? Yo, 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 what's up, yo? Hey, yo, I'm here. You know, I'm letting you know I'm here. I'm at the sleep in. Here's the address. All right, just come through. I called her at the uh, what did I call her on the hotel the hotel phone that they put in your room. And yeah, she was like, oh, "Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there in a couple hours. Okay, just give me a minute. I'm doing a couple things with my with my home girl. I remember that too. My with my home girl. And yeah, I, I'll be right there. Okay, uh, you just just hang in there, Joe. He 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 he." So yeah, I decided, okay, fuck it, early on in the day, I'm going to have just a couple beers off this six pack, you know, to smooth the edge, you know what I mean, because I was a bit nervous. Back then I was very nervous with chicks, but I still managed most of the time to at least go on a date with them, I just made it through. You know, I didn't have no bad anxiety attacks and oh my god, freak out, you know. I held my ground and let my balls out loose, let my balls hang. So yeah, a couple of hours pass by, and I give her call, a call again. I'm like, yo, I mean, what's up? I'm, I'm, are you coming or what? I'm letting you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just, give me an hour. I'm, I, I'm just finishing up a few things here. Give me an hour. Yeah. Oh, uh, can you give me the um? Uh, can you give me your room number? Because I might just show up and knock on your door. I'm just letting you know, okay? Just give me your room number, and, I, and I'll come knocking. Just wait for me. Or, or if anything, you know, uh, if I can't reach you here, I'll call the hotel front desk lobby and, and, and I'll ask for you. So, yeah. I'm waiting and waiting on this fucking bitch. Right? What time is it? Okay, I'm waiting and waiting on this fucking bitch. And I'm like, what the fuck? I know it's more than an hour. A couple hours. Right? I remember I called this bitch again, and guess what? She didn't fucking pick up, right? And I'm like, fuck, I'm in Chicago. I paid uh, money for this fucking hotel, uh, a fucking flight. I'm wasting money on liquor. Like, what the fuck is this, you know? So the whole day, Friday goes by, and guess what? This bitch didn't show up at all. They didn't call my room. They didn't knock nothing. I think a couple a couple times people did knock my fucking room, but one time it was some jerk off that I guess he had the, it, 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 it was a wrong knock. Like, oh, you know, oh, I'm sorry, a wrong room number. I'm looking for a Shelly bitch, whatever the fuck. And then the second time it was the cleaning lady. You know, so I'm like, oh man, what the fuck is this? Am I being teased over here or what? So I finished the rest of the six pack and just stayed indoors most uh, the entire day Friday. Bro, Saturday comes. Oh my God. I call this bitch. Right? She's like, Oh, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I just had to do something with my parents. I, 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 you know, uh, I, I'm going to come today. You know, just just be ready. Be ready. All right? I'm, 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 I'm going to come sometime before, before 1, before 2. I'm going to be there. You know what I said to myself? It was already like 12.30, 1 o'clock the next day. And I'm like, man, fuck this shit. If she comes or not. If she comes, she comes. If she doesn't, whatever. I'm going to leave this fucking hotel room and I'm, I'm, I'm going to explore Chicago. So yeah, I went around exploring Chicago, downtown, people watching, you know. Just wanted to just clear my head. Just walk around. Check out downtown and shit. I remember, bro, there was this yo, yo, wiggity, whoop, whoop, gangbanger. I don't know, he just came up to me and just started talking, right? He, I, I, I forgot how we met up, but he just, I just know he just, 
I don't know what set it off for, for him to come to me, but he just started talking to me. And yeah, we just started talking, and we were talking about chicks, and I guess I was, you know, he, he, he thought that I was a pretty cool guy. And he was like, yo, you know, yo, yo, I'm here alone, yo, from, from Milwaukee, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just, I was just out here on business, yo, yo, I was just out here visiting, yo, 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 you know, yo. He was like in his early 20s, right? I remember he had long black shorts, long white tee, long hair, tied up, his long ponytail, and he was, I know he was Latino. I think he was Mexican, yeah. And he just wanted to chill for a couple hours with me, you know? I didn't get bad vibes from him because we, me and him, mostly hang out, mostly hung out in the downtown area. Me and him went to get go get something to eat. I think some pizza. And uh, yeah, we were just walking and talking, and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, uh, I mean, what the fuck does this guy want? You know, now he's he being a little bugaboo. Now he's being kind of annoying. You know, I wanted to get back to the hotel because maybe this chick did fucking show up, right? Maybe she is ready. Whatever. And I remember this guy, me and him would walk around downtown chilling. And, and bro, he he was hitting on every hot girl that, that, that would walk us, walk past us downtown. You know, because it was a busy Saturday. A lot of people. It was a nice day. And he's just like, yo, yo, ma, yo, yo, what's up, ma, what's good, yo. Yo, I remember he had his hat backwards, too. Yo, 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 what up, ma? What's good? Yo, yo, let me holler at you for a second. And I was gonna, I was kind of cringing because every chick that he talked to was rejecting him. You know what I mean? Now, I give him props, you know, for having the confidence to just not give a fuck, right? He said, you know, I remember he walked into this high-end fucking uh, store in Chicago. I mean, it was high-end, you know? Looks like one of those stores, one of those stores that only rich people go to. And there was this hot ass fucking white chick, an employee, like a greeter standing there, nice short skirt, white chick, long fucking beautiful blonde hair, smiling, looked real good. And he came, you know, he comes inside the store like, yo, yo, what's up, yo, yo, what's up, yo, let me holler at you for a second, yo, 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 yo. I'm just standing outside the door and I'm just, and I'm just watching the interaction through the glass, you know. Yo, 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 what's up, yo, 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 yo. And of course he got rejected, you know? Now I was getting annoyed already. It's like, I mean, come on, dude. First of all, I mean, the way this guy was dressed, it, it was kind of sloppy. You know, fucking 3X white tee, and you look, you, look, you look like a fucking large. Long ass black shorts that look kind of dirty. And, you know, yo, 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 yo. And then he asked me, like, I remember, the, you know, uh, so what you really doing out here, yo? What's up? What's up? You know, where the, where the, where the hoes at, yo? And I shared a little bit of information with him. I was like, uh, yeah, I might I might go to this chick's party. You know what I mean? I'm going to go there and just, just hang out with her. She's just a friend, you know? And then he was like, yo, for real, yo? Yo, but, but yo, is there going to be any gangbangers out there, yo? You know what I mean? Because he had gang tattoos and shit like this. And I told him... And that made me think. I'm like, oh, shit. Well, maybe. Because I remember she told me that that, you know... She lived in a kind of ghetto area of Chicago, you know, and had the chick told me like, you know, to come to her party or whatever. Um, and if I would have brought him, it probably would it probably would have been problems. You know what I mean? So I told him, well, I don't know, yo, you know, this chick, you know, she, you know, she said she was going to call me back later, you know, because she's trying to set it up, you know, but I can't give you an answer right now, yo, you know. And yeah. Um, I remember me and him, bro, we, we went on a bromance date, that's what you want to call it. We got on this boat in Chicago, and we started fucking just looking around, you know, taking photos and shit, and then he started getting too comfortable with me, you know? He started telling me about all the crimes he and his boys committed in, in Milwaukee. He showed me a, a picture of one, of one of his homies, right? He was like, yo, you, show, you see this right here? Yo, you see my, that's my homeboy right there, bro. That's my right-hand man. Yo, that nigga dusted four bodies. Now, that slang term for basically his homeboy there killed four people, you know? And the cops haven't caught him yet. Like, this motherfucker that admitted to me all, all, all these fucking illegal things he's done and gotten away with. And in my head, I'm thinking like, whoa, like, this motherfucker's talking too much, you know? I could be wearing a wire. I could be an undercover cop on my day off and shit. 
an undercover rookie and he just admitting this shit to me. But of course I'm not gonna shit, snitch, you know, it's not my place, it's his business, I don't wanna be involved in that gang drama. And then it was time for him to go after a couple hours of chilling with him, I think four to five hours. He was like, hey, yo, you know, yo, yo, you a cool dude. Hey, yo, bro, I, 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 yo, yo, how you feel about, you know, repping my set when you go back to New Jersey, yo? I forgot the name of his fucking set. I know, it, 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 I know their colors, their colors were black and white. He had a black bandana. He was like, yo, yo, I tell you what, I, I, I'm going to induct you right now. Here's a secret handshake, yo. Yo, ch yo, yo, check it out. What's your number, yo? And I gave him a fake-ass phone number. I gave him a uh, fake-ass, uh, uh my fake ass house number. He wanted my house number, but I gave him the wrong one. He was like, all right, do, 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 to save it. Check it out, yo. I'm going to call you like in about a month or two. And and, and, and me and my homies, we're going to check up. We're going to call you and find out, you know, if you put our set out there, if you recruited some gangbangers, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you the leader of the Jersey faction, yo, yo, yo. And bro, me and my homies, we might come out to their visit, check it out, you know what I mean? And, we could, and, we, and then we could do some business, you know what I mean? We could get this shit popping, yo, make some real fucking money, yo, yo, yo. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, it was time for him to go anyway, you know? He said he had to get on, on an Amtrak train to go back to fucking Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, sure. I knew I, knew I wasn't going to see this motherfucker anyway. So I just fed him a bunch of bullshit. So after that annoying nuisance was out of my life for good, I went back to the hotel and I asked the fucking hotel clerk, yo, anybody left a message for me? I'm expecting a message from some bitch. No, nobody no, nobody called to you. Joe Torres, room number 85? No, no, I'm sorry. I've been, I've been here at, at the desk all day and no, nobody. So yeah, Saturday was already almost up because I was chilling with this fucking gangbanger. And... uh I called the bitch up and she never returned my phone calls. So so that's it. I wasted my Saturday chilling with some moron. All right, and back at the hotel Saturday night drinking. Uh, I think I went to get more beers, watching TV and the hotel TV. Next day Sunday it was time for me to go, and I was pretty pissed off. And check this bullshit out. As I was unpacking and leaving Sunday. Right? Um, oh my God. This pretty cute black chick, an employee uh, that worked there, you know, she saw that I was about to leave, pack up, you know, and I was outside waiting for a, a shuttle because they said that they had shuttles that go to the airport. You know, and I remember this black chick, an employee there, she hit me up and she was cute. Nice big ass, pretty nice body, glasses, hair braided. She was like, oh shit, you know, you leaving already? I, 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 I saw you uh, coming in and out with with beer and I thought, you know, you, she said it playfully, but I'm pretty sure she was down. She was like, oh, well, I, I was hoping me and you could have a couple drinks, you know? And I'm like, oh, fuck, what the fuck is this? I'm about to leave fucking Sunday, right? In, in a couple hours, I'm getting ready. I saw, saw you in the hotel lobby. You know, I'm waiting on the shuttle and, and now you ask me out uh, to chill? And I told her, like, oh, well, shit, I probably, and I lied to her. I was like, well, I'll be back in a month, you know? I was thinking in my head, I'll probably come back in a month and see this black chick then. You know, but then it hit me, like, nah, fuck that, I'm not going to waste my time. But yeah, this uh, supposedly this black chick wanted to chill. She asked me out, but it was time for me to go. When I got back to fucking Jersey, this fucking bitch... I guess she was avoiding me online because I was trying to talk to her for a couple days and she and she didn't log on at all. And it wasn't normal because this bitch would log on every day. She finally logged on and I fucking hit her up like, yo, what the fuck, bitch? Like, what, what the fuck, yo? What the fuck, bitch? I, I'm waiting for you. What the fuck? You know what this bitch told me? Oh. Well, I, I didn't like how you wanted to chill at the hotel, you know, I, 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 like a pervert, you know. I didn't want to come to the hotel room and I would have felt awkward, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't chill at the hotel with niggas like that, yo. Like, what the fuck is your fucking problem, bitch? I fucking confirmed before I flew out there to see your stupid ass that, uh, yo, I was, I, I, I'm going to get a hotel. We're going to fucking chill. 
I didn't tell her we were going to chill there all day. You know? And yeah, I'm sorry, but you know, you, you, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a hoe, you know? Fuck you, bitch. After, after that, I told her, fuck you, I hope you fucking die. And I blocked her stupid ass, and that was it. So yeah, that was a waste of fucking time. Peace out.